Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Windows Vienna, which is an operating system that I've heard of for the last five years. However, recently, I think about a week ago, I saw that it's finally completed. This is created by Vista on YouTube. Um, I've actually never seen their videos before, but I found this one, it popped up on my recommended page, so I decided to try it out, and we're going to take a look at this OS. I'm going in blind, I know nothing about this, but like like I said, I've heard about it for a while, and it's been it's been in development for quite a long time. So this is obviously based off of Windows Vista, and I'm crazy, I actually, I'm one of the people that actually likes Windows Vista, like quite a lot. Windows Vista was one of my favorite Microsoft operating systems. Some of my favorite Microsoft operating systems are the most hated by other people, like I liked Windows 8, don't judge me. And here we are, so we can see that it does identify as Windows Vienna. I don't think that the Windows logo is centered with the text. Maybe it is, I don't know. It doesn't look like it that much, but that's okay. Next, uh, continue, or install now, rather. Um, the background, first of all, can I move this? No, I can't. The background just looks amazing, just this purple color. I like the blue, but, I mean, for a different version of Windows, this looks really cool. Uh, so we're going to skip the product key. Um, it even says Windows Vienna here. I bet that's crazy. I mean, they 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 really updated everything in this OS. So we're gonna go custom, and we're gonna next. Okay, and here we go. We're installing Windows Vienna. Some things: the X button is purple, uh, with that purple blue shadow. Um, check marks. I mean, I love this. It 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 looks like Windows Vista, but it's modified and it's it's amazing. All right, Windows Vienna is done installing, and here we can create a user account. So let's go ahead, and we're just going to call this Vienna. I hope I spelled that right. We're going to skip the password. And these don't look like the regular Windows Vista profile pictures, but we're going to go with that dog right there because I like dogs. Um, let's see. These pictures don't look normal either, but we're going to go with that one. Yep. Uh, and leave the computer name alone. Let's go next. Uh, we're going to use recommended update settings. Uh, we'll just go with Pacific for now. We're in a public location, and thank you. That seems shorter than Windows Vista's setup. I'm not sure why. Uh, the purple orb. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on now, why it's a little frozen. Okay, my mouse went away. And this is the part that I thought would take a while on Windows Vista. I forgot it does this. Look, it even has his YouTube channel plug there, and the icon down there got changed. Vista's custom Windows Vista themes. I'm not sure who came up with the name Windows Vista, but I don't know. They're different. Windows Vienna is Windows Vista with an alternative visual style. This was made with many DLL files uh, to allow you to apply custom Windows Vista theme. So you can do that. You can download this as an ISO, or you can download this as a theme, not a theme. Like what Rectify 11 V3 was. It was like an EXE, like a transformation pack. That's what I'm looking for. Um, you can download them as either one, so you can download it as either one of those. So I just went with the ISO just for the sake of this video. But yeah, look, his YouTube channel is in that picture right there. That's so cool. All right, and here we are, Windows Vienna Ultimate Desktop. The first thing we're going to do is try to install VMware Tools. Um, I know that VMware Tools don't work for Windows Vista. I know VMware Tools never worked on Windows Vista, so I'm going to use one that I downloaded from VMware's website, which actually does work with regular Vista. So I've had this on my desktop for a while. I'm not sure where it... Uh, it came from their website. Um, I forget how I found it, but I know Windows Vista didn't like the VMware tools that it was trying to install because they're for Windows 7 or higher. So this one I know works on regular Windows Vista, and I hope it works here. Look, even that's a purple bar. Uh, we've got the purple orb down here. I mean, this is so cool, honestly. All right, just our standard VMware tools installation. Nothing really special here. Um, and then we'll get to take a look into the operating system. All right, VMware tools is done. So we're going to go ahead and restart. And hopefully we'll be able to get Arrow as well as, you know, a full screen ultimate experience. Okay, so it looks like um, VMware tools isn't starting. Oh, wait. Okay. But it's really laggy with VMware tools. So we're going to change the resolution down to something that's not going to lag because it's running at, you know, 1440p. I usually like to go 1366 by 768. That's not too laggy. And then we'll just stretch it just like that. There we go. So now we're in Windows Vienna officially. So let's take a look.
On the desktop, we have the recycle bin, which even has the purple recycling logo on it, which is really a great attention to detail. As well as the MyPal installer, which is from, let's take a look, June 20th, 2022. So this is probably, I think, one of the only like good browsers that's you know supported in Windows Vista at this point because it's Windows Vista is so old, Chrome doesn't support it. Chrome hasn't supported it for a while, actually. Anyways, moving on, the sidebar, regular Windows sidebar, but it's purple. We have purple clock. I think these images might be different. I can't, I don't know. I haven't memorized the Windows Vista images. Uh, moving on to the taskbar. This, the network icon looks more purple than it usually does. Uh, the orb is purple. And in our task, not taskbar, in our start menu, we have internet, email. Uh, the only thing I see that's different here is Windows Ultimate Extras, um, which is basically like Windows Update. Um, we also have Windows Meeting Space, which I think this is just all regular stuff that comes with Windows Vista Ultimate, which I've never really used Ultimate. Going into our applications, we have, yes, let's do that, continue, blah, 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 blah. We also have, okay, uh, Windows Movie Maker, Vista's download site, um, which is going to open here. Internet Explorer cannot open this website, so I'm hoping that, that's the installer. I'm hoping that MyPal will be able to do that as well, or MyPal my will, you know, open it. Okay, now this just appears to be like his content and stuff. Oh, themes. Themes for Windows Vienna. Um, Project 700, or 7000. Is a Windows 7 build 700 themed build of Windows 7 7601. So Vista is obviously very into making custom windows operating systems okay cool um so we also saw that you know purple x button i wish i could get arrow and purple text that's more pink purple purple wow i really do want to see because it seems like they've managed to change the os windows vienna ultimate windows vienna ultimate operating system wow they even changed it down to the system level that's amazing honestly so with that being said, this was Windows Vienna, an interesting way to start off 2023 because I really like Windows Vista and this is just Windows Vista but different and I like it. This is a very cool custom OS and I feel like, and there doesn't appear to be anything sketchy on it. I mean obviously we have to run a Malwarebytes scan to determine that but I mean like there's no like toolkit on the desktop, anything like that. It looks legitimate. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And hopefully very soon, I will be doing a new iPhone XS device restoration. I wanted that to be up for today's video, but I never got it to happen. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.